Welcome to Hollywood Studios. Man, a little bit of a rough start today getting into this park. It took us about 20 minutes to get in past the park opening time. Around 8.32 we got in line to go in, which is after the park opened and we like just now, about 15, 20 minutes later, got through the gate. So really slow start here, but that's all right. We don't have anything much planned for today. Just gonna kind of stroll around, have some fun. Look at this. Shops are back open. That's such a big deal. We've been talking about this whole side of the street being closed recently, but finally it opened up. Very exciting. Let's see what else we can find today like that. So we've been talking about that a lot recently. So I don't have much of a plan today. Like I said, we're gonna just stroll. We started by heading down this way and going to see what the wait time was for Rock and Roller Coaster, but it was 45 minutes by the time we got there, which is fine, fine. I can think of better ways to start my day. So let's do some shopping. As we've been moving through the shops, I wanted to point something out that I've been noticing. Um, some items, not just here, but elsewhere, they've got these tags where it doesn't say the actual price. It tells you like red price or whatever, but there are no like signs around indicating what that price is. So I've noticed this, that's pretty cool. I've noticed this happening elsewhere um, as I'm kind of doing a little bit of shopping here and there. So just be ready for that. Um, I noticed it the other day at, was it Magic Kingdom? And now here, so. Sometimes things, if you really want it, you might have to take it to the register to find out how much it is. I've got some of these cute little wristbands here, but I just noticed this as well. How cool is this? That's awesome, but see, again, red price. And I don't see, I don't see, oh, over here, back there, red price over there on Magnus and Keychain is night is $11.99. So that's an $11.99 keychain. I don't know if that applies for stuff that was over here, but Anyway, now you know, the price might be elsewhere altogether. Here is more of that princess collection that we saw the other day at Epcot. Um, I did learn that this is supposed to be Moana, this romper. I don't, I don't quite get it. It doesn't feel like Moana. Oh, maybe those are supposed to be like the, the stone. But anyway, I'm not crazy about the quality of these items. Um, they feel kind of like something you could get at Target, but the price is a bit more. This is this is different. This is a skirt for 50. Um, I still feel the same way, but I feel like you could find something like that at Target. But some of these other items, like this dress right here is 70. It is lightweight, which is nice, but not for me. There's some more new shirts over here too that have like princess quotes. It is like Princess Week or Princess Month or whatever. Not your everyday princess, that's Tiana. Um, ready to stand, sick of swimming. I think we all know who that is. It's kind of a every princess thing. And then over here, for Aladdin we have, or for Jasmine I should say, not a prize to be won. Lots of other cool Jasmine stuff over here. Oh, check this bag out. That's very cool. This one is $98. Is this? Okay, so that's not lounge fly, Danielle Nicole. That's very cool. This one's cool as well. It seems to be a little bit more expensive, but it does still feel like a lounge fly. So that's kind of your idea as far as quality is concerned. And this, is this supposed to be a rain jacket? Sometimes they fool us, might just be a windbreaker, but this is pretty. I do like this. Looks nice on too. It's got that waist that can flatter certain figures. You know, I don't really need to do any more shopping. I, I didn't need to do any shopping to begin with, but these shops just opened back up, so let's go take a look and see what they have. 
So I think before this used to be a Pixar shop, and there's definitely some more Pixar stuff now. Look at these. This is a new thing, these big plastic headbands. I saw an Ursula one the other day. I think those headbands are absolutely hilarious. I don't know if they'd be comfortable, but I feel like, you know, they fall off and then they're likely to break because they're not soft like normal ears, but I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in a comment. Such a cute mug. $14.99. I love it. I did notice at the end of the store, so we've walked all the way down, they have baby stuff, lots of cute stuff, but <laughs> this caught my eye. How cute is this? Um, $19.99 for this one. That's hilarious and adorable. Lots of other cute baby stuff too. Oh, look at this. It's got little mouse ears and everything. It's like a whole, a whole outfit. Well, it's not multiple pieces. It's just one. It's got the snaps down here, the little dress. This is a, is a separate piece. $34.99, not bad. Super cute. Okay, we've stopped real quick. Hanging out in the, um, what used to be the exit well, in Q area for Toy Story Mania. You can actually still hear them in there. But this is what the queue used to be for Toy Story Mania before they like swapped over and did Toy Story Land. Um, but yeah, sitting down, just had some breakfast. And now we're gonna keep walking, keep walking around the park. Speaking of Toy Story Mania, there it is. So we're just looking at the, looking at the back side of the building now. Slinky Dog, obviously rolling through. There he is. I don't know what the wait time is for Slinky Dog, but Toy Story Mania only had about a 45 minute wait, which isn't bad. That's actually not bad at all. And it doesn't feel super crowded in there yet. I mean, it always feels crowded in there, but not yet. I don't really have much reason to hang around over there though. So, two ba two we go. Um, maybe we get that black half cold brew again? Last time I had it, it just wasn't great. Maybe today it'll be different. We'll see. The biggest problem I have with getting the black half cold brew again is that that shake in Jamaican is so good. So do I want to waste the six bucks on that like mediocre coffee when I could get a really good one? You know what I mean? Like that's the thing. Anyway, let's make our way around. Do a little shopping, see what they have. That should be fun. Here in Droid Depot, I wanted to take a look, get a little bit of AC, and um, check out this hoodie. How cool is this? It is $54.99. It's not actually a hoodie. It's just got this big, like, draping collar, which I love. It's got my boys on there. I really like that. Lots of cool stuff in the Droid Depot. This one is cool too. I haven't seen this last time. Oh look, there's even a little, a little pocket with Velcro. Let's see, how much is this one? No tag on that one. Did I ever tell you I have a thing for that? Like, it seems to be 49 and it seems to be something I'm really good at doing. Picking up things that only don't have tags. I really do like that bowl. Maybe I buy that bowl. How much is this? <laughs> $74.99. It, it's definitely worth it. I need a fruit bowl, but it's a bit more, a bit more than I am willing to pay at this moment. I've decided against getting the black calf cold brew. We're gonna get Joffrey's later, maybe, maybe. But I'm gonna keep moving for now. Definitely getting a little crowded in this area. I wanted to see what the standby time was for Rise of the Resistance, but it doesn't look like it's showing. Um, it's a little hard to see with the blue numbers anyway, but it's not posted there. Let's pull off and we'll check. So I wasn't able to find the wait time, but Rise of the Resistance is down. I do see, can you see it behind me, that there are a lot of people standing outside. So a couple weeks ago, we talked about like this theory that I have about riding Rise of the Resistance. And I, I don't think you should rope drop 
rise, uh, especially if you are not staying at a Walt Disney World Resort hotel. But the question is, when exactly does the line start to dip? I don't think today's gonna be a good indication of that because the attraction is down, so that's gonna back things up. I don't know how long it's gonna take for it to come back up. I've heard some people say it takes like two hours or so to reset once they get it squared away, so it could be down all day. We'll have to check back. For now, we're leaving Batu. We'll be back soon, and we're heading probably to Muppet Vision 3D, assuming that it doesn't have too long of a line, because it would be nice to get a little bit of air conditioning. It's kind of warm, so let's go see what we can pull off. We managed a 10 minute wait, so here we go. Just coming out of Muppet Vision, and it got me thinking because there's like so much in Muppet Vision that feels outdated to me, like a ton. And as I was watching the show, I was thinking like, you know, they really need to update this. And I do think that they really need to update it. But even being as like outdated as it is, it's great to see the kids still really enjoying it. Like it's just a classic 3D show, but also people like Muppets. So that's fun too. So anyway, I like that there's some adult humor. I like that there's some kid humor. It's very Muppets, um, but I would love to see it updated. Not taken away, just updated. Also, it is still early, so this area is still pretty empty. I feel like it's normally pretty empty, but um, mostly because shops are still closed. As you can see, this shop is still closed. The Muppet shop is still closed. Speaking of places still being closed, on another platform, I was talking about how some people don't know what to expect and how that can lead to frustration. And this is a, this is one example of that. You know, I was leaving Muppet Vision and people were like, we have to go into the Muppet store. Well, the Muppet store is closed. It's, it's been closed. Um, I don't know if they're going to bring it back at all. So we'll just have to wait and, wait and find out. Um, but also that other store, I don't even remember what that store was. I wanna say it must've been like a Christmas shop or something. That's also closed, so. Okay, I got a little distracted because I saw a photographer taking pictures. I wanted my picture taken, but it was part of like a special training thing, I guess. So I didn't get a chance to do that. But, all right, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I don't even think that some people would know to look to see if places like the Muppet Store are still open. So that's why we talk about it. Anyway, okay. Where are we going next? Hmm. Normally I would go that direction towards Star Wars, but today we're headed this way toward Red Carpet Dreams and the ABC Commissary. This is a little through way that I honestly never take because I never eat over here. And there's not much to do other than eat and meet Minnie. So we're about to head our way out now, but did you know that this area right here is formerly the world's biggest hidden Mickey? Did you know that? So this big black spot right here, it's actually one of Mickey's eyes. The other one is another one of Mickey's eyes. This nose is over there in front of the Chinese theater. Lake is one of his ears. His other ear was painted on top of a building. I don't think that they have maintained it, but his other ear was out that way. And you can only see it from the sky. So if you go Google it, Hollywood Studios, like world's biggest hidden Mickey, you'll see it. It's really cool. All right, it's that time. We're heading out, making our way back down to the car. Look, I made a purchase. Can you see it? Just one today. I actually don't buy a ton of stuff on days like this on like short trips, but I make up for it when we come out for dinner and stuff. Um, as I think most annual pass holders do. We find places to cut corners so that we can spend twice as much on other days. Anyway, heading back to the car now. It was a good day. It's warm. 
not a ton of people here yet. Um, but it's, it's still before 11. So we've only been here for a couple hours, but good day, good day nonetheless. Okay, we're home now. It's a little bit later in the day. As you can see by my sunglasses, we've changed them up. Anyway, I wanted to take a second to tell you about the purchase I made. I'm sure that some of you saw the box sticking out of my backpack and you knew exactly what it was, but if you didn't, boom, we bought ourselves a Magic Band Plus today. And I know what you're thinking. I thought you weren't crazy about Magic Band Plus. I'm not, um, but I'm curious as hell and I really want to play with this thing. So today, especially after seeing this super cute skull design because we like keeping things spooky over here um i just i did it i was like i'm gonna i'm gonna get this magic band um also halloween is my favorite holiday and look at this look at this cute design it's so cute so um so i picked one up discounts for annual pass holders dvc members all that stuff um and i went through the process of getting it set up so that was kind of my mission for today and i'll tell you not the easiest thing to achieve and in fact right now i'm not even sure that it is successfully completed <laughs> so i know there are a lot of people talking about setting up magic bands and on all that stuff i'm not going to go into like the nuts and bolts of what to do because like i said i don't even know um if i'm doing it right there are a series of basic steps, that's something I will say, is that there are a series of basic steps that you need to follow, and they're straightforward. The problem is whether or not they work as advertised. So, you know, like, just to, like, link your magic band, you can just tap it with your phone, and hopefully that works, but the app was buggy today, and you can also, um, there's like a QR code on the back, and that works, but it wasn't working on the app and you can type in the numbers manually and that's an option but it wasn't working in the app so I had to pull my laptop out and do it that way and then getting it synced up didn't work and like there were a lot of problems and I will say that the My Disney Experience app said like a little thing popped up and said there is a problem with the app there's a bug it even said um, in the app so maybe this will be resolved by the time you guys see this but did I spend about an hour and a half to two hours trying to get this to work as advertised? Yes. Did I have to factory reset it because it wasn't working as advertised? Yes. Did I think that Disney did an adequate job providing the information that you might need in order to do any of this stuff? Absolutely not. Um, we ended up going to someone's website, like some other person who just was sharing their experience that they had with guest relations to get this solved we end up going to that website to find instructions on how to make this work and even so the instructions are like like they're fine but like they're kind of ridiculous like why do i have to like go through the app to turn bluetooth off and then on again so that i can get this to work? i got a lot of things a lot of things to say we're not going to say all of them here though um we'll talk about that some other time, maybe like in a series of videos all about Magic Band Plus. But now we have one, so we're gonna mess with it, um, put it through its paces, see what I think about it. See if I think it's worth it um, after actually having one. So anyway, more on that some other time, but for now, I'm gonna wrap this up. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you had some fun kind of exploring with me today. Um, wasn't a really busy day, mostly did some shopping, but you know, not every day is a super busy day. Some days are just kind of casual, and that's what today was all about. Didn't end up getting our Joffreys, but I did make a killer iced coffee once I got home. So I suppose it all balances out. But anyway, like I said, I am off, got some other stuff to do, gonna keep working on this thing, and I will see you guys in the next one.